assalamu alaikum today our uh, topic of uh, discussion regarding heart physiology is electrocardiography that is ecg the learning outcomes of uh, uh, this lecture is uh, define ecg number 1 number 2 explain the leads of ecg define anthoven's law and uh, fourth one is interpret the findings in ecg we will uh, cover uh, these topics in uh, two lectures uh, that is uh, the first lecture of uh, ecg first of all that is the definition of ecg electrical changes in heart during cardiac cycle is called ecg cardiac impulses in ventricles causes current flow in heart which spreads through the tissues and fluids to body surface and electrodes pick it actually uh, the current flowing in the heart through your conduction system is um, uh, moved to uh, uh, to the surface of the body uh, where uh, uh, this current uh, is picked by the electrodes and this is the recording of electrical changes in heart during cardiac cycle uh this is uh, uh the page of uh, ecg on which uh, uh, ecg is recording um you can see here this is uh, uh the small box one minute this is uh, the small box you can see here this small box uh, consists of total 25 smallest boxes uh and uh, uh, on uh, x axis there is a uh, time and on uh, y axis there is voltage and uh, uh, and uh, the height of uh, uh, the ecg so you can uh, see here the total time of small box is 0.20 seconds and it consists of uh, here five boxes 1 2 3 4 and 5 and uh, so each box has a time of 0.04 seconds divide 0.20 with 5 you will get 0.04 seconds so the time of smallest square is 0.04 seconds and its height is height of small box is 5 mm and the height of smallest box is 1 mm because uh, uh, this small box has it on uh, each side there are five smallest boxes and each uh, smallest box is has a height of 1 mm so you have to understand this electrocardiogram you can you have to uh, know the time and uh, the height of this electrocardiogram now you can also see here these are the this is the small box and it consists of 25 smallest boxes you can see here you can see uh in this this clearly th there are 25 smallest boxes each smallest box has a time duration of has a time duration of 0.04 seconds and has a height of 1 mm you can see here on uh, x axis there is time and on uh, y axis there is height in millimeter now in ecg uh you can see here there is a p wave there is qrs complex then there is t wave okay p wave qrs complex 
and T wave. You see here the height of P wave is less than the height of T wave. So it is very important. If you correspond from here to here, you can see here the height of T wave is more. And uh, uh, total three waves and there are also intervals and uh, segments in this ECG. You can see here uh, actually interval has wave and segment does not have wave. This is very important concept. Interval has wave and segment has no wave. So you can see here this is the PR interval that is from the start of a P wave to the to the end of Q wave. You can see here from the start of P wave to the end of Q wave this there there you can see here uh, there is a P wave in the interval so interval has wave and its time is 0.16 seconds you can see here but uh, uh, this is the interval and there is also a segment that is from the start of P wave segment starts from P wave from the end of P wave and to the Q wave but uh, you can see here interval from the start of P wave segment from the end of P wave segment starts from end of P wave and uh, there is also a ST segment you can see here from the end of S wave to the start of T wave this is ST segment and uh, you can also see here the RR interval there is RR interval RR interval uh, is very important when you uh, uh, when you have to measure uh, the heart rate from ECG and uh, the rhythm uh, from ECG so uh, we will discuss uh, it later what is uh, the rhythm and what is the heart rate of uh, ECG how we can find both of these characters so from one R wave to an other R wave the distance between two R waves is RR interval okay so these are the parts and this P wave depicts atria this P wave P wave shows atrial depolarization atrial contraction and QRS complex shows ventricular depolarization ventricular contraction while T wave depicts ventricular repolarization so atrial depolarization ventricular uh, depolarization and then ventricular repolarization then where is the atrial repolarization this is the question atrial depolarization ventricular depolarization ventricular repolarization then where is the atrial repolarization this lies here ventricular repolarization but but there is no wave so it is the question which we will discuss later on you can see here the current in the heart comes to the surface of uh, uh, your chest and uh, from uh, the chest the electrodes are connected to the voltmeter to to determine the strength of that electric current uh, certain uh, conventions to record ECG for one millivolt uh, input there must be one centimeter deflection of uh, stylus Speed of ECG paper is 25 millimeter per second. These are the facts regarding uh, the ECG. When the ECG paper comes out of uh, uh, the ECG machine, uh, its speed is 25 millimeter per second. Now you can see here, uh, uh, these are uh, uh, the leads of ECG. In this lecture, we will mainly discuss the leads of ECG. So, 
uh, there are uh, two types of uh, leads. Number one is standard bipolar limb leads and other is augmented limb leads. You can see here unipolar limb leads. Unipolar limb leads and this is standard bipolar limb leads. There are mainly two types. Uh, so first one is uh, uh, standard bipolar limb leads, lead one, two and three. There are three leads which are bipolar limb leads. As the name indicates, they have uh, two poles. One is uh, negative and other is positive. You see here the lead one, right arm negative terminal, left arm positive terminal. You can see here. Lead one, this is the lead one. This is the whole diagram. You can see here, uh, lead one. Lead one has a negative terminal. This is your uh, right side. This is uh, your left side. So this is right side. On right side, you can see here, the right arm is connected to lead one negative terminal. And uh, uh, you also see here the uh, lead one, lead one positive terminal with left arm. So this is uh, the thing you can see here uh, in this slide. Right arm, negative terminal. Left arm, positive terminal. Okay. This one, right arm, negative terminal, left arm, positive terminal. So lead one has two terminals, uh, positive and negative. Positive terminal is connected with the, the right arm and a posi uh, negative terminal with the right arm and positive terminal with the left arm. You can see here. positive terminal with left arm and negative terminal with right arm. Lead two. Right arm negative terminal, left foot positive terminal, lead two. You can now see the lead two. This is lead two. Lead two has a, a negative terminal with right arm, positive terminal with left foot. Okay, and uh, in uh, lead three, you can see here the negative terminal with left arm and the positive terminal with left leg. You can see here, left foot, positive terminal and left arm, negative terminal. So there are three types of leads which have uh, positive and negative terminals and they are connected with their respective arm and uh, foot. You can see here the uh, right foot has no lead. Why? Why this right foot has no lead? Because this right foot is neutral. This right foot is neutral. To flow the current, we require a neutral point. So this foot has neutral. Uh, in normal ECG machines, this right foot has a neutral uh, point uh, which is um, which has uh, this lead is in black color this lead is in black color which is neutral so i i hope you understand how the standard bipolar limb leads are connected now the unipolar limb leads these are of two types augmented limb leads and precordial limb leads uh, in augmented limb leads, you have uh, to, uh, there are also of uh, three types, lead AVR, AVL and AVF. In this, you have to, uh, you have to understand that uh, the, where is the active electrode? Where is the active electrode? If there is AVR, AVR means, R means right arm right arm. So right arm has active electrode and other two limbs, other two limbs are which one? That is left arm and left foot because right foot is neutral. 
so we will not discuss the right foot so uh, the avr means right arm is active electrode it has positive uh, terminal and it is connected to the positive terminal and the other two limbs are connected to the high resistance to the negative terminal of the machine to make it inactive in in case of avl l means uh, left arm so active electrode is on left arm and is connected to positive terminal and other two limbs other two limbs are which one that is right arm and left foot in case of avf lead active electrode is on left foot and it is connected to positive terminal and other two limbs are connected through a high resistance to the negative terminal of the machine to make it negative other two limbs are which one number one is left arm and other is right arm so you have to understand in case of avr avl and avf which electrode is active electrode or positive electrode and the other two are negative uh, electrodes are the negative terminals so these are the augmented limb leads then there are chest leads second one uh, in the unipolar uh, you have seen that uh, unipolar limb leads the second one is precordial limb leads uh, Uh, active electrode is placed on uh, the standard point on the chest and is connected to positive terminal uh, three limbs are connected to the negative terminal through high resistance of uh, 500 ohm so uh, in this uh, the chest uh, electrodes are connected on the chest uh, with the positive terminal and the negative terminal is connected to the three limbs that are left arm right arm and left foot And not right foot because right foot is neutral. You can see here V one, V two, V three, V four, V five, and V six. These are the six precordial uh, chest leads. Where are their location? V one in uh, the fourth intercostal space, just to the right of the sternum. You can see here. This is uh, the right side. This is the left side. uh on the right side fourth intercostal space and this is uh, your here is your sternum here is in the center you have a sternum and uh, sternum on right side sternum has a right sternal border and on left side sternum has left sternal border so this v1 is on the fourth intercostal space uh, left sternal border Uh, sorry fourth intercostal space right sternal border v1 is on fourth intercostal space right sternal border you can see here this is the right side so on uh, uh, v1 is on the right side of the sternum so it is along the right sternal border and in fourth intercostal space v2 is on left sternal border in fourth intercostal space it is parallel to v1 but on left sternal border v1 is on right sternal border fourth intercostal space v2 is on left sternal border and fourth intercostal space okay in the fourth intercostal space just to the left of sternum and it is v1 is on the right of the sternum v2 is on the left of the sternum and you see there um, uh, fifth intercostal space is between a uh, fourth intercostal space is between the uh, uh, rib 4 and rib 5 so v3 uh, between uh, v2 and v4 and v4 in the fifth intercostal space in the mid clavicular line v5 uh, is uh, also in uh, the fifth intercostal space in the left anterior axillary line v6 is also in uh, uh, the uh, fifth intercostal space but in the mid axillary line you can see here v3 that is between v2 and v4 uh, v4 v4 is in the fifth intercostal space you can see here its level is below than v2 so it is in the fifth intercostal space as v2 is in fourth intercostal space mm -hmm. v4 
is in fifth intercostal space and this is the clavicle so you can when draw a line from this to this in a vertical position this is called mid clavicular line so fourth intercostal fifth intercostal space and mid clavicular line this is the location of v4 fourth precordial chest lead and uh, v5 is in the fifth intercostal space again but in the anterior axillary line this is the axilla and this is this vertical line is anterior axillary line so fifth intercostal space anterior axillary line is the location of v5 and this v6 is also in fifth intercostal space but it is in mid axillary line so in the center of the axilla you have to draw a vertical line downward and this is the mid axillary line in the center of the axilla uh, so these are the locations v1 v2 v3 v4 v5 and v6 v4 5 and 6 are in fifth intercostal space uh, v3 is between v2 and v4 and uh, v2 is in the fourth intercostal space on a left sternal border and v1 is in the fourth intercostal space in uh, along the right sternal border so these are the locations of uh, uh, leads and um, uh, 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 now you can understand that there are total uh, six uh, total 12 leads Three are uh, your uh, standard bipolar uh, limb leads. Three uh, are uh, uh, your uh, three are your uh, augmented uh, uh, limb leads, and six are your precordial limb leads. Precordial chest leads, sorry, precordial chest leads are six in number. So total are twelve. Okay, the remaining uh, lecture. Uh, will be uh, from Enthoven's law and it will uh, we will continue in uh, the next lecture.